Hey guys and welcome to today's study with me video. I filmed this on one of the days leading up to my last week of exams when I had four exams in quite a short space of time so today was quite an intense day of revision and work. The first thing I did that day as you just saw was I grabbed my folder that I was going to start with and I got some paper and a pen and I was trying to remember all the names of the different bacteria that we needed to learn for our practical exam for pathology. It is this flowchart thing that kind of categorizes the different bacteria that we needed to know so I test this on a regular basis to make sure that I don't forget it and I think it's a great way to start your day of revision just trying to recall something from your memory because it really just sets your brain in motion which is what you want if you're going to do a long day of revision you want your brain to be fully focused and fully in gear for the rest of the day once i had written everything down from memory i would then go back to my official notes and revise them to fill in any details and really consolidate that information because it needed to stay in my brain for a few days because this exam was on the last day and I had three exams before this so it was really important that I really did secure it in my brain and I was really confident with that stuff because it was just one one part of that exam there were other parts to it as well so I really had to focus this morning and I thought I'd just get it done straight away on the topic of staying focused when you're working, I thought I'd mention that today was quite a tough day for me. I've never really found it that hard to stay focused and that is why I decided to get the camera out and film for you guys because I thought it would help me. I had just previously the day before gotten really bad news from home. You may or may not have seen that video on my channel but yes I wasn't feeling my best and it was really hard to keep my mind on my work just because I was thinking about other things as you can probably imagine but that is why as I said I got the camera out and I thought it would help me these videos not only help you guys but they are a two-way thing I really do benefit from them as well after I had finished up with the bacteriology stuff which I did pretty quickly because I felt quite happy with that stuff. I then moved on to do histopathology work. So this exam was our practical exam for biology of disease or pathology. And part of that exam, as I said, is about identifying bacteria and bacteriology. Then another section is about histopathology. And if you don't know what that is, that is essentially looking at slides down the microscope, except in the exam, we just get photographs and you're diagnosing a disease in a patient in an organ in the body say the lung and you have to describe what you see what is the pathology what is wrong with this organ it is really hard when you've only had a year's worth of experience and you've gone through stuff really quickly in the course but essentially I will show you an image in a minute of what we get to look at. They are slides of a lot of pink and purple colours and it's very hard to know what is going on but we all find it quite difficult, we all can relate in this situation but I was just trying to look at some images on my MacBook go through some of the work that we'd done in previous classes and just essentially try and get my head around it but in the time that I had it was really hard so I was just trying to get as much done as I could. It is very much one of those situations where you have to just apply yourself in the exam. You can't really prepare that well for it because it just depends on what you're given. And just to break up the little time lapse here is my room situation we've got an apple as a snack and there you go on the screen that is an example of what we get to look at i mean that's just pink and purple right it's all just a load of pink and purple splodges on my screen okay so after i looked at way way too many tissue sections i just moved on to trying to revise a different section of that exam there are four in total and i have mentioned two already another one that could come up in the exam i think in the last section was virology which i was revising now so that is the study of viruses and this was quite quantitative this section it's about 
calculating viral titers and doing plaque assays so it was kind of a more mathematical part of the exam however it could have been an alternative question based on some immunology practicals that we'd done earlier on in the year so I was just trying to revise that collectively because in the exam we would get either or question I think to be honest with you this exam was a very big mystery nobody really knew what was going to come up because there were no past papers Anyway, to break up my day, at around midday I went to the gym and this is something that I would do most days. I would either go for a run or head down to the gym just to break up my day because after I'd done some work in the morning and I'd been sat at my desk, I then decided it was a good idea to go and move my body, sweat out a bit and then come back have some lunch which I was making now. So in my evening routine before an exam I showed you guys that I made overnight oats and often during my exams I would make overnight oats even for lunch as well because it's a really summery meal it's not something hot I was just adding some desiccated coconut on the top it already has some chia seeds mixed into the oats as well I added berries on top some mango some frozen pineapple and a kiwi and yeah it's just a really nice refreshing lunch good to refuel after my session in the gym and yeah i would just tend to eat that whilst i was reading through some notes at that point because in the afternoon of today i was moving on to a different topic to revise because as i said i had four exams coming up so i had to spread my weight equally i had planned all this out in my revision timetable so i was moving on to revising cell and developmental biology that's super good Yep, and those oats were so, so good. I am loving overnight oats at the moment. Anyway, after I had eaten lunch, as I said, I was doing CDB revisions. So I was actually revising some of the practical stuff because I had two exams for this module in my last week, one of which was a practical exam and the other was an essay paper. So I was revising the practical stuff. So I suppose today was quite a practical revision day. I was going through the practicals that we were doing obviously and this one I think that I was revising was the plant practical which we had done last. We only had one practical this term so I was just going over that. Once I'd finished kind of making some really rough notes just so that I had everything consolidated on one piece of plain paper because you guys know me, I love my plain paper. I then decided to look at some questions, some past paper questions, some that we've been sent to do by our supervisor over the holidays, go back over those, see if I could still remember how you did the questions because again, practical work is something that you can prepare for, yes, but there is a lot of application that you have to do in the exam and just apply your knowledge. So it's one of those kind of scary exams because you don't really know what's going to come up. It's all a big question mark. So you just have to do as much as you can and remember that in the exam you're going to be put in novel situations and you just have to think outside the box a bit I suppose. Once I'd finished up with that I then moved on to doing some more memory testing like I'd done at the start of this video so I grabbed a piece of scrap paper again or just any plain paper. Yes in exam season you get through so much paper it's kind of annoying. I was trying to write down everything that I could remember based on this one practical because there were a lot of new protein names to learn and sometimes in biology when you're revising it just feels like you're learning a load of names of enzymes and proteins and different molecules in the cell and yes sometimes that is the reality there are so many strange names that you need to remember and so many numbers that you just have to jam into your brain which is a nuisance but you've just got to try and think of ways that you can remember them so in one of my exam season diary videos i think i told you guys one of my mnemonics that i'd made up for something i was trying to remember but yeah mnemonics can work really well or just writing them on a piece of paper or a sticky note and sticking it up on your wall somewhere so you see it every day just to get them in your head. With this practical I was trying to condense all the different past paper questions that I'd seen on that module and try and write down some answers so that I could have something set ready if that question came up but I'm gonna tell you now because I did this exam and I am doing the voiceover after I'd finished my exams this 
module or this topic never even came up in the exam and I finished like where was the cytoskeleton question they didn't put one in the exam which was kind of frustrating when you'd learn all that information but that is the same thing with every exam you get tested on a tiny amount of information well anyway we could rant about that for quite a long time I was just sort of tidying my desk a bit taking a little break to just you know breathe and throw my pens in the bin because those pens ran out every single day i got through at least like one pen a day i don't recommend those biros at all so i'm not going to tell you where i got them from because i don't want you guys spending your money on pens that don't really work that well when it got round to the evening i made my dinner and I sat just going over some more practical notes for CDB because those were the two things that I'd set myself to revise that day. So in the morning, as you saw, I was doing biology of disease practical revision and then in the afternoon slash evening, I was revising CDB practical stuff ready for my last two exams because I had these two on the same day. Six hours straight of exams with only an hour and a half break. That was a very fun day to say the least. Now, just as a little amusement break, I want you guys to close your eyes not look at the screen and listen to this noise and tell me what you think it sounds like because I find this so funny to listen to. Right, ready? Close your eyes. I imagine a rabbit eating lettuce, I don't know about you. And now open your eyes and look at my mouth. I just found that so funny when I was editing and I thought it would just be a little something for you guys to laugh at if you're still doing exams just to put a smile on your face anyway I ate my dinner yes and when it's time-lapsed it looks and sounds so funny and getting back to what I was doing I was just reading stuff as I said but I found it really hard to just sit and read because often when I'm revising I have to have a pen in my hand and I am writing things down that is how I learn I don't really take in information that well if I'm just looking at something or reading it anyway after I'd had my dinner I had a shower and I did a final bit of revision for CDB look at that okay I'm using lined paper and now I do have an explanation for this and you're probably really surprised if you've watched my channel for a long time because you guys know I don't really like lined paper but the thing is I was running low on plain paper so I had to resort to the lined paper and I would just often use it when I was scribbling things down and I wasn't really making any notes so I wasn't gonna look at it again because you guys know I feel that the lines distract me if I have notes written on lined paper I really don't like it and that was it that was my full day of revision it was an intense day but I tried to keep it really chilled in this video just so that you guys could watch it and study along with me or just find some motivation from this video I didn't want to make it feel stressed and intense even though it was quite a long day for me working if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you're new around here as well subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I upload because I am going to be putting a lot of content out and for those of you who have still got exams I wish you good luck for the ones that you've got left you can definitely push through because summer is waiting for you on the other side it will feel amazing when you are done so don't give up now you've only got a short amount of time left as always thank you so much for watching this video guys I will speak to you in my next one bye